Hey folks, passwords for many people are the bane of their lives. What an annoyance. I don't know how you do it remembering passwords, but I'm not so good. So let's talk about how you can make your life easier, but also stay safe from cybersecurity and hacking issues that are becoming so commonplace. Let's dive in. From Auckland, New Zealand, and in partnership with Gorilla Technology, your three minutes with host Paul Spain starts now. Business and technology commentator. Technology expert Paul Spain. Wouldn't it be good if we could just completely do away with passwords? Well, we're part way there right now, certainly with a lot of the newer smartphones, you can use biometric authentication. Whether it's a fingerprint reader, whether it's something that does some sort of a, an eye uh, scan, but these technologies are becoming more common. On our laptops, we've certainly got uh, fingerprint readers, facial recognition coming through on products like Microsoft Surface. So the technology is improving, but passwords have not gone away. So what am I gonna recommend? Well. For your passwords, the old recommendations of having jumbled letters and numbers and characters and maybe a password of about eight characters long, let's leave that behind. A better option for a password is one that you can remember. So unless you can remember a jumbled up password, then think of this, think of passphrase. So a phrase, a number of words that you could join together is quite a good approach for a password. Now. There is no set rule of what is the best technique for a password because as soon as somebody sets a rule, then people are looking to break that particular uh, technique. Uh, but one type of thing that can work is to have a password of a number of words, ideally random words, that aren't sort of predictable, like the lyrics of a song. You know, avoid that of words that would normally uh, go together, so they're quite random. Very hard for a computer to go in and to guess your password. Even if it tries a million times, it's not going to do that if you've used a number of disassociated words. For me, I would tend to add in some extra elements and in addition to however many words are utilised, whether it's a mix of numbers or something else that I remember that can go together with that password. For having different passwords on different sites. You've probably heard this advice, don't use the same one password in multiple places, that leaves you at risk. And the reason being is a lot of websites get hacked, uh, there's a lot of compromise, and if somebody guesses one password, you don't want them to have access to absolutely everything, or if they get your password through a website that was hacked and leaked your password, you don't want them to have that carte blanche access. So, what do you do in that case? How do you keep all your passwords different? That's where a password manager comes in. That can remember all those other passwords for you. They can be as complex as you like. If you're very paranoid about certain sites like uh, your core account for business access, maybe it's internet banking, those sorts of ones, well, a small number of passwords you probably can remember up there, particularly if you come up uh, with a with a technique to uh, remember them and there are there are a whole range of those on my website you will see some recommendations or some more recommendations around passwords but I do recommend considering one of these tools for storing your common passwords if you want to sort of ride both sides and not leave it all in your head but use a tool to remember it what you can do is store maybe half or a portion of a password in repository that is safe, not in a bit of paper on your desk uh, or stuck to your monitor or under your keyboard. Those don't work so well, but if you do want to do that, go ahead, but leave part of it in your, in your head. So if somebody does get that, they don't have the whole lot. Hey, that's it from me. Uh, if you want to see those password tips, go to gorillatechnology.com slash password tips and you can find some, uh, some insights there. You can follow my updates, paulspain.com slash updates. Hey, I'll be back with my next video next week. See you then.